This video is part of House Bolton's Bolton Palooza, where for a week or so we're going to be discussing House Bolton characters, theories, and end games. This video lets talk about Domeric Bolton, Roose Bolton's one time heir of the Dreadfort, how he died, and theories on who really killed him. Domeric was the only true born son of Roose Bolton and Bethany Riswell that lived past infancy. Roos describes him as a quiet boy, but very accomplished. Domeric read histories, played the high harp, and rode like the wind. He was mad for horses, and even Lord Rickard's daughter, Liana, who was known as Half Horse herself, couldn't outrace him. Which is a weird statement as the ages don't match up, but I'm guessing that's just a comparison and not saying they ever truly raced each other. Domeric served for four years as his aunt, Lady Dustin's page, in Barrowton. Later, he would squire for three years in the Vale under Lord Redfort. His time in the Vale must have impressed Lord Redfort, as he claimed that Domeric showed great promise in the lists. With Domeric being a great rider, that doesn't surprise us. As we know, a great jouster must first be a great horseman first. Unfortunately, Domeric's time with Lord Redfort may have aided in his end. Domeric was said to enjoy the company of Redfort's sons, and in doing so, wished for a brother of his own at his side. Hearing of his father's bastard Ramsay, Domeric wished to find him and perhaps share that bond with him. Roos forbade him, but his son was a man grown and thought he knew better than his father. So Domeric rode up to the Weeping Water to find Ramsay. We don't know exactly how that meeting went, but we do know shortly after Domeric would die from a sickness of the bowels in 297 AC. But did he really? Maester Uther says a sickness of the bowels killed Domeric, but Roos Bolton claims it was poisoned by Ramsay's hand. Ramsay is the easy choice, but there are five major thoughts on who killed Domeric. Though knowing the true murderer probably doesn't change any future outcome in the book, it's still fun. So let's put on our finest tinfoil hats and speculate wildly, but briefly, on the five popular choices for Domeric's killer. The first one is what is generally believed. Ramsay Snow poisoned his half-brother. Ramsay really has the best motive for this. Getting rid of his father's heir means the possibility with no other options, Ramsay could become Roos's new heir. Ramsay was made to believe since he was a small child, he was special and had certain rights. Ramsay hates bastards. He loves being a bastard. It makes sense that he would want to get rid of his father's only possible heir, even for the tiniest chance to be legitimized and absorb that position. And I think we can all agree Ramsay was certainly capable of killing Domeric. This would just be another awful deed in the thousand page novel of sick, twisted things Ramsay has done. The curious thing here is the use of poison. Would Ramsay really use poison to create the bad belly Domeric died from? Ramsay takes pleasure in the pain and fear he causes in others. He is not a subtle man. Poison wouldn't give him the same satisfaction. An accidental drowning or pushing him off the wall may have been more Ramsay's style, with flaying him slowly being a tempting option he knew he couldn't get away with. But I think he probably knew that he couldn't get away with something like that, and he needed to get it done quickly and with little suspicion. Flaying, falling accidents, or other oopsies would be just too suspicious. So Ramsay goes without the pleasure of torturing Domeric in order to keep the heat off of him. But how did Ramsay get poison? We have no knowledge of his ability to make or get it, but for the sake of this theory, let's assume he decided poison was the least suspicious route to go and somehow acquired it. How did he get close enough to Domeric to administer it? Well, during his brother bonding time Domeric wanted. As they spent time together and Domeric probably being totally blind to Ramsay's true nature, Ramsay was able to poison him. Further strength to this theory? Roos Bolton believes Ramsay to have killed Domeric. As well, Roos mentions more than once that he believes Ramsay would kill any of his offspring. The next theory on who killed him is a bit more out there. It was Roos. Some believe that Domeric, a quiet boy, didn't fit in with the traditional Bolton ways. Perhaps he was too kind. He didn't give that cruel, calculating aura Boltons use to keep people in line. Maybe Roos didn't like that Domeric was too strong-willed and didn't listen to him. Roos, realizing his heir wouldn't hold up to the reputation of his house, decided to get rid of him. Along that same vein, some speculate Roos was actually watching both Ramsay and Domeric, trying to determine who was the most Bolton, worthy of his blood and the Dreadfort. He eventually found Domeric not to have the qualities of a Bolton, and when he planned to visit Ramsay, he set his plan in motion to get rid of him. 
Ramsay is already known as a monster, so his son dying after announcing a visit to him might not have been that surprising, depending on how infamous Ramsay was at that point. And even then, the poison looked like a bad belly. There's another theory that Domeric was actually a bastard of Bruce's wife and someone else, or Lady Dustin and Brandon Stark, and Lady Riswell passed it as her own to save her sister the shame. When Roos finally noticed the difference between Ramsay and Domeric, he realized he had been played and chose to murder Domeric, and his wife conveniently died of a fever. This is all wild, heavy speculating, but let's still assume it was Roos. Okay, Roos kills Domeric. Why would he then tell Theon that Ramsay did it? But why if he was trying to murder him and make it seem like a bad belly and the maesters just assumed it was, why wouldn't he just be like, oh, huh, I succeeded? and moved on and just kept tight-lipped about it. Maybe to just play a game. Maybe to keep suspicions off of him in the future? Maybe Roos, to stay in the clear, is trying very hard to pass blame onto Ramsay, which would be easy. His bastard is known to be a psycho and murderer. Roos admits he believes Ramsay poisoned his son and would do so to future sons. He constantly reminds others of how cruel and tainted his bastard is, passing blame on him. He's trying very hard to look innocent in all this. Here's the odd thing on that. Why would you keep the murderer of your heir and someone you have told others is tainted, evil, and will kill your future offspring at your side? Because he can wield Ramsay and really hates the idea of a boy inheriting the Dreadfort when he dies? Or because he's the one behind it all? What happened to all his other children and his last two wives? They say Lady Riswell died of a fever, as far as we know. A lot of people seem to die at the Dreadfort, where for a long time Ramsay wasn't hanging around. And Roos doesn't seem to have much emotion over the death of his children or future children. He just accepts it. Part of his cold personality or because he really wanted them dead. Some go a bit further and say this is why Roos leeches himself. Because he believes he's tainted by these murders and he's trying to remove the weakness and evil from him. But really, for the most part, there just isn't enough evidence that Roos wanted Domeric dead. This also wouldn't be Roos's style. He would make sure he had an heir before disposing of his only one. Did he really think Ramsay was going to be his heir? Knowing that boy's insane. Yeah, he has a lot of Bolton traits, but he also has a lot of undesirable traits that Roos have said are not very Bolton-like. He's really going to trade in Domeric, a man with skill and a bit of defiance for Ramsay, an almost uncontrollable psycho that has traits Roos openly hates? Seems like an odd trade. But if you believe a certain theory and he's an immortal vampire, I guess all he needs is a body with eyes similar to his. Another theory is Ramsay's mother killed Domeric. Ramsay's mother suffered greatly because of Roos. After marrying a miller without Roos's knowledge or permission, Roos came to their home, had the man hanged, and raped the woman under the tree where her husband's corpse swayed. This rape led to the conception of Ramsay, a wild and unruly boy. She goes to Roos a few times, demanding things without fear, and later she demands a servant to take care of her son. Roos gives her Reek, a foul-smelling servant at the Dreadfort, as an amusement to himself. This could have further stoked the fires. This man rapes her, gets her with a demonic hell child, and then mocks her further with a foul-smelling servant. Not only that, but a foul-smelling servant that then bonds with Ramsay and leads to more heinous acts. So this anger is brewing in this woman for a long time and she decides to act on it. What is the best way to hurt Roos? Take away his only heir. And maybe forcing him to take on her son as his heir and ridding her of him at the same time. She was very adamant that Ramsay had certain rights. There is speculation on how she could have poisoned Domeric. A favorite theory I've heard is she used Reek, telling him killing Domeric meant Ramsay got lifted higher, and that meant Reek may return to the Dreadfort one day, which would be more comfortable lodging for him. Reek would know the layout of the Dreadfort, where Domeric slept, and the eating schedules. Poisoning Domeric could have been simple for him. The next murder suspect is Reek, Ramsay's servant and loyal pet before Theon. His motivation? Jealousy. If Domeric sought out Ramsay and they were bonding, maybe Reek felt displaced. To ensure that Reek and Ramsay stay close, he poisoned Domeric. He would have the knowledge, being his servant at the Dreadfort for so long, and appears to be as messed up as Ramsay, so the act of murder isn't beyond him. In Reek's twisted mind, could this also have been a way to solidify himself to Ramsay? killing the only person standing in the way of Ramsay quite possibly earning a position he desperately wanted? There isn't much else to add to this. Reek has the motive, jealousy, or loyalty to Ramsay, and is capable of murder and other terrible things. Finally, some honestly believe that Domeric wasn't murdered at all, but died of a sickness. From Roos's own mouth, we know a lot of his offspring have died without leaving the cradle. 
Now his bones lie beneath the dread fort with the bones of his brothers, who died still in the cradle, and I am left with Ramsay. Is there some type of genetic problem with the Boltons? Does this tie into their unique appearance? Is it possible that Domeric had a genetic illness, or maybe that he really did just get sick and the maester was right? But that isn't nearly as fun to speculate over. Of all the possibilities, I still believe Ramsay was his murderer. Roos stands behind that, and I believe him. Ramsay had every motive and the ability to do it. Regardless of how Domeric died, the information was most likely written by George to give us more reason to hate Ramsay, and maybe a reason for Lady Dustin to want revenge, but that's a different video. Knowing the true murderer likely wouldn't change the story, but what would be different if Domeric had lived? Being a well-liked, quiet man, do you think he would have convinced his father not to betray Rob? Or do you think he would have gone along with it? I tried not to get too crazy with this video, conspiracy theories can get way out of hand very quickly. And there are so many other theories on Domeric. Roos and Ramsey videos along with House Bolton theory videos are coming. There are a lot of topics on the Boltons, which probably could have had its own month, but I'm trying to get through it in a week or so. Then we move on to the happy, completely not depressing in any way, House Mormont. 